All right, so now as far as how to actually use that union uh, intersect and, and minus in a way um, beyond just what the book does, definitely um, you want to go back and look at the uh, book's uh, solution, but I am going to show you a fairly canonical one from the land of Oracle. So um, in my database, uh, I, I uh, remind you guys I have an HR schema and have the employees table. And you can see again, this is just a list of the employees in that table, right? And of interest right now is the employee ID. Now this table is the people in their current positions. It's in their current positions. So we know that, uh, that this person here, Nina, is is a is a vice president we know that this person here is currently a manager what happens if they change jobs so we got a couple choices from a database design perspective we could just not care and just update the record or what we could do is create ourselves another table which is only interested in the history and in this history table we've got the key which is the employee id and when they started a position, when they ended a position, and uh, and what that position actually was, as well as what department it was in. So to make this a little bit more interesting, let's uh, notice that we've got here 101, right? Here's 101, employee number 101. If we say, well, who's 101? This is, uh, again, Nina. So Nina is currently a VP. But if we look at the history of 101, we'll see that Nina was in this date range an account, uh, I don't know what that is, but some kind of account person. And then uh, pretty well the next day you'll see transferred over and became a manager. And we can assume then that after this date is when she rose to the heights of being a big time VP. Now, what if we want to ask questions uh, about this kind of stuff with these two bits of information in here, right? What if we want to basically somehow have the entire job history of, of Nina? Well, one thing we could do is we could say, okay, I would like to have the employee ID and then the job ID. And there's Nina right there. Boom. And then if we have a look at underneath, we definitely have employee ID and job ID. These two columns have to match. They have to match, all right? So they have to match. So we're gonna go and do that. And there is the uh, account manager uh, information. And then not surprisingly, what we could do is combine the two together. And now what we're gonna get naturally, yeah, let's combine them like this. And this is basically uh, her history. Now, um, let me uh, fire off another session for a second here, not another session, but another, uh, window. What if I want to get those dates in there? Well, that's going to be a little bit more challenging, but I'm pretty sure we can still figure this out. I'm going to go over here and look. So we got start date, end date. Really the only interesting thing here is the end date in my mind. So what I could do over here is say that I want the, uh, is it end underscore date or end date? End underscore date. End underscore date. So we can go end date. Now, if I run this thing, you're going to see that there's going to be a problem. There's three columns here and only two columns here. I need to put in an end date, or at least until, right? Date until. Well, you know, um, that field doesn't exist in employees, but what I could do is suppose that the sys date, which is Oracle's way of basically telling what today's date is, they're basically doing that position up until right now. So if I now run this, there is, um, I, uh, this person, uh, Nina, was this account person until that date. Then they became the manager until that date. And then the VP up until the current date, which is the day, right? So that's one way to sort of do these sort of uh, union uh, kind of queries. There are other kind of goopy things I could ask too. Like, for example, I, I could ask, well, who has never actually even changed jobs? Ever. Who's never changed jobs? Well, if that's the business logic there is that if they have changed jobs, they're sitting in this table, right? Those employee IDs are sitting in this table. So what I could do if they had changed jobs is go select employee ID 
from HR employees, so that's all the employees, minus select employee ID from the uh, job history. What this will do is this will pull out people that have never actually changed jobs ever before. And uh, let's just do a quick count. And we'll see that apparently 100 of them have never changed jobs before. So it's a pretty stagnant company, but, but anyway, that's fine. So that's kind of interesting. And then we haven't done subqueries yet, but we could use this as an engine to then get more information um, about those people. If I'm gonna go back, one more example for you guys. Um, let's say I want to find out, uh, who, is, who is it now, this person here. Okay, so 176, let's have a closer look at 176. So here's 176. 176 happens to be a sales rep. Well, 176 was a sales rep, then got promoted to become a manager and is now currently a sales rep. So um, that would be an, that would be an interesting query, right? That would be an interesting query. I could basically uh, um, probably probably do an intersect maybe between the two, basically intersecting. Um, yeah, that's, that's that's what that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. So I'm gonna go and give me the job I the, this guy the job ID job ID. And this one, if I said intersect, this will give me the matching pairs of those to the matching pairs of these. And we're going to go go. And there's 176. And apparently 200 also had a similar career trajectory. So that was sort of my take on just showing you guys sort of unions, intersects, and, um, and intersections. Well, unions, intersections, and minus, sorry. Unions, intersections, and minuses. I didn't show the union all here. Mostly, I couldn't think of a good business reason, but there, there, there are, uh, I'll tell you the union all was the one I've actually used the most. So it's basically when you just don't care about duplicates, you want this set of data combined with this set of data. And um, if you're gonna say, well, hey Grant, uh, what if like I now wanna know the salary or whatever, and there's a salary in the below field, in the below query, you got a couple choices. You could basically uh, hard code something in there, right? Uh, oops, no, you can't. You can't do that. Excuse me, you cannot do that because this set wouldn't match this set. So, honestly, at some point, what I'd be tempted to do here, uh, and we'll get to this when we talk about subqueries, but I'd probably make this the engine to uh, to a subquery and and go from there. All right, so that's kind of what I want to show you. With uh, uh, that's what I would have shown you. Have the power not to. Out of me. So, so there you have it. You should be now set for uh, for the assignment awaiting you.